These stones are pretty impressive, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Limestone, about 40 ton, approximately 40 ton, some of them, some a little smaller. But not only were they quarried and brought here, but they're stacked, right? They're stacked, you know, so, okay, you, let's say you're dragging stuff, okay, but like now you're stacking stuff, 40 ton stuff, right? And, and so, and this stuff is sandwich. So this was sandwiched between granite, right? On the inside and granite on the outside. Mm. And you can see the amount of erosion is significant, right? The top blocks mm. are almost all dissolved. Like it's significantly dissolved, right? You can assume they were the same size of this bead block. Mm. And so you can imagine that, you know, <laughs> this is significant amount of time. But not only that, is that if you date the erosion of this, right? You're only dating the erosion after the granite has been eroded off wow. and the granite is much harder and takes much much longer and we know it was fitted perfectly so it's not like there was big gaps you know that the weather was getting through or anything right so it's like so so um geologists looked at this and tried to figure it out uh robert shaw yeah. and he came up with 80 thousand 80 thousand BC, yeah. So 80,000 BC would account for this type of erosion, right? Nowhere close to the fourth dynasty. Right? But, then, but then he was attacked severely for these statements, and uh, he changed it to. So we have now a conservative opinion. He says, okay, these buildings were there during the cataclysm 11,000 BC. 11,000. So, so he didn't 11, talk about how old it is, but he said it was there and that effect from the cataclysm.